Hi, I'm Heather from Heather's Tummy Care, an author of Eating for IBS. If you're wondering if the Tummy Fiber Acacia Senegal is the best fit for you, the answer is yes if you are trying to resolve IBS diarrhea, constipation, or alternating diarrhea and constipation. The Tummy Fiber is literally nothing but a pure, certified organic, 100% soluble fiber. It is natural, whole foods from a plant, it's naturally gluten-free, FODMAPs-free, and it's a slowly fermenting prebiotic. That means that it creates an environment in the bowels of short-chain fatty acids in which the healthy bacteria of the gut and only the healthy gut bacteria thrive. Those good guy bacteria then help keep the bad bacteria in check. The prebiotic effect as you are regularly using the fiber can actually help actively reduce bloating and gas. But the primary action of soluble fiber is as a bowel regulator. It's going to take motility of the bowel and bring it to a stable middle point from either extreme. So if you have IBS, the normal peristalsis, the motility of your bowel, is going awry. And what should be stable, rhythmic contractions instead becomes very irregular, very strong, very mistimed contractions that are too hard and fast too slow, too infrequent. The motility of the bowel is literally dysfunctional if you have IBS. So soluble fiber is meant to resolve that issue by regulating the contractions of the bowel and also regulating water content in the bowel. It will take IBS symptoms from either extreme, diarrhea or constipation, and bring you to a stable middle point. Soluble fiber cannot turn constipation to diarrhea or vice versa. It can't cause one or the other. It's literally just a natural bowel motility regulator. What is critical with the tummy fiber is that you start at a low dose and you increase gradually. I would suggest half a teaspoon twice a day, which won't look like much. You're gonna start at that low dose, add it to any liquid or moist food, and every three or four days, you're going to add an extra half a teaspoon to just one of your doses, morning or night. And then you're going to wait another three or four days and then add an extra half a teaspoon to your other dose. You want to continue the slow, staggered, gradual increase of your dose until you reach the point where you feel stable day in, day out. No more diarrhea, no more constipation, no alternating back and forth. You just feel as if you have normal bowel function day in and day out. That dose range can be a couple tablespoons a day for IBS diarrhea, all the way up to several tablespoons, even four or five tablespoons a day for IBS constipation. You are not going to start anywhere near those doses, just half a teaspoon twice a day to start, but gradually work your way up and keep gradually increasing until you feel stable. Once you reach the point, that's the dose where you would stay. It could be a few teaspoons a day, all the way up to the four or five tablespoons. What's important is that you gradually increase until you reach the dose that your particular gut needs to gently force normal motility day in and day out. So think of it as a process. The tummy fiber is not used as needed. It is not going to work overnight. It's something that you have to get in your gut, keep it in your gut 24 seven, and gradually increase your dose until you have enough in your gut 24 seven to keep normal motility going. You can't rush this process. I wish that you could, but you can't. Slow and steady will win this race you will gradually get up to a dose that gently forces the normal peristalsis of your bowel and resolves and keeps at bay IBS diarrhea or constipation. The tummy fiber is very flexible and easy to use. You can add it to any liquid, though it will dissolve best in room temperature liquid. Once you have it liquefied, you can add it to something boiling hot or freezing colds. You can even boil or freeze the fiber. It's impervious. Or you can add it to any food, anything that's got some kind of moisture in it, it's just going to melt into. So any moist food in a meal or snack, sprinkle your tummy fiber on top and it will melt right in. Again, make sure you follow the directions on this one. Start at a low dose, increase gradually, keep gradually increasing until you reach the point where your bowel function has stabilized. 
That means no more diarrhea, no more constipation, just stable bowel function day in and day out. Remember as well with IBS, you are not alone.